Brother Smith with madness. We gonna read. Mark chapter 4 verse 15 says, be, watch this, watch this scripture. You've been listening to the prophets of the Lord and we're going to show you that the Bible is true. That this man is Satan himself trying to deceive, trying to pull the word of God from you. says, pay attention. And these are they by the wayside. This is y'all by the wayside on 6 1. Read. Where the word is sown. We're sowing the word of God. Where's his Bible? Where's his Bible? Read. But when they have heard, Satan coming immediately Satan coming immediately Satan coming immediately and taking away the word that was sown in their hearts Satan trying to take the true word of God from the people on 6-1 right. we out here trying to wake our people up the black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians Satan trying to come and take away the word of God that song that you're an Israelite you must keep the commandments of the faith in Christ he's not, he's not telling you that He's not telling you that. He's going to come whisper in your ear. Say something smooth. Bring it yeah, up. Jesus Christ. We're showing you the Bible, sis. These pastors ain't doing that. His pastors ain't doing that. Read. Read again. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. You are listening by the wayside. We are. You are listening by the wayside. Read. But when they have heard, Satan coming immediately. The brother in the back tell you is what? Satan. Coming immediately. The brother in the white Toyota is what? Satan coming immediately. This is what we got to watch out for. We over here trying to wake up the people. And you got Satan himself trying to disrupt the word of God. Bring it up. People think they know something. we read reading again. Satan is trying to disrupt the word of God from the people on 6-1. This is not a fleshly war. This is not a carnal war. This is a spiritual warfare we fight right now. This is spiritual. Our people, we're trying to wake us up. We're trying to show you how to get our drugs. We're trying to show you how to get yourself right. Order your house with the commandments of God. Come back to your true nationality, your heritage. This is what God tells us to do. Read. Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets. Do what? Beware of false prophets. We trying to come out here and bring the word, but God said to do what? Beware of false prophets. Come which come to you is who's crazy. He come looking like he wanted to fire. He come looking like he was trying to do something good. But what happened? But even me, they are ravening wolves. He's what? Ravening wolves. We are here fighting ravening wolves trying to take the souls of our people in 6-1. That's right. You understand? That's why we gotta get our drugs. That's why we gotta, gotta, gotta get ourselves right. We have to come back so we can fight this this, car, this uh, spiritual war. We fight this spiritual war every day. And now our people coming out here to fight us too. You understand the destruction our people are in? To think he got the answers. You ain't got the answers, Sway. God does. That's right. Read. Matthew chapter 25, verse 4. And Jesus said, as he said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Christ said to himself that this is going to happen. You know how powerful it is to understand you're not a Native American? How powerful it is to understand you're not just an African American? But that Negro don't care. He said you can stay as you are, stay as you want. Keep getting high, drunk, and, and whatever you want. God tells us to change. Read. Read again. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive me. The brother trying to deceive the word that was sown in you, brothers and sisters, out here today. He's trying to deceive. He don't want to. He don't want to dialogue with his brother. He don't want to try to build. He don't want to try to build. He don't want to try to build. But the brother want to scoff. The brother want to deceive. He didn't come out here to help you. He came out here to deceive and take away the word that was sown. Right. That is his sole purpose. It was not to lift you up. It was not to wake you up. Right. It was to deceive the word of God. Right. You understand that? That's how powerful Satan moves. Read again. Read what you got. 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he may come and preach it another Jesus... Who we have not preached. He over there preaching another Jesus. What comes with that Jesus? Another spirit. The brother doesn't have the spirit of love on him. He does not have the spirit of love. He has the spirit of malice, animosity, hatred. He's a murderer according to the scriptures. He does not love his brother. He's not showing us love. You understand that? He's not showing our people love. If you receive another spirit, 
which we have not received, or another gospel which we have not accepted, you might well bear with him. We he wants people to bear with him the same way we are bear with our oppressors when they taught us another Jesus. He is regurgitating the same Christianity BS that we were taught for hundreds of years. That's all he's doing. He's a parakeet. He's not showing our people the true water that Christ said to give the people. He's not giving our people the true bread that we need to come out of poverty and oppression. Read. Philippians 1 and verse 15. Some indeed preach Christ, even of envy and strife. What are some doing? Some indeed preach Christ, even of envy and strife. He's preaching Christ of envy and strife. He didn't come out here to build a bridge. He came out here to tear the word down that was sown. The birth of Adam, the devil cannot sin against the promise of God. That's why he tells us to gather ourselves together. That's why he tells us to, to uh, build ourselves one another, to come out and then correct our people. That's the order that God said that Christ said that Paul showed us. This is how we're moving. Read it again. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife, and some also of good will. We are here showing the good will, but these brothers like him, the so-called apologetics, the so-called Christians come out here to teach of envy and strife. We are here showing our people the truth. It's hard time we wake up and come out of sleep. You understand that? You see the war, the war that we're fighting, brother? It's simple. It's simple. It's not a carnal war. It's spiritual. Let's keep building. Give me what you got. Romans 13 and verse 11, and that now is the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Brother, it's time to wake up out of sleep. You've been sleeping, you know a little thing of here, a little thing of there. You know you're an Israelite, but you don't know what tribe. You, you know you got to keep some commandments, but hey, let's learn more. This is how we got to move. Give me that, even, uh, endure as a good soldier. This is our profession. This is good. Hey, but now what's the next step? Tribe of Judah, okay, all praise to the Most High. That's just a number, brother. You got to keep the commandments. Simple. That's right. What's the first commandment? Did you know it's about to be this Lord's Sabbath? No. Follow that commandment. That's, That's right. that simple. It it's not about worrying about some crazy number. Watch this. Proverbs 28 1. Real quick. Because the wicked flee. The wicked flee. He come out here trying to stand against God. He ain't boxing against God. Proverbs 28 1. Come on. Bring it out. This is how we treat the. Hey, turn the speaker towards him. Read. Proverbs 28 verse 1. On. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. But the wicked flee when no man pursueth. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. But the righteous are bold as a lion. The prophets of God are bold as a lion. That's how we teach in the word of God out here on 6 1. Get yourself right, brother. We on 6 1 teaching. We on 46 North teaching. We are we on 46 uh Tulsa Trip teaching. We out here on Black Wall Street teaching. We all around Tulsa in the bride waking up our people. What does brother want to do? Pull up on them in a guy on one corner. Titus 1 and verse 13. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God. We're looking for that blessed hope. Come on. Of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity. We are we ought to be redeemed from all iniquity. You understand that? Read. Read. From all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Well, what? Zealous of good works. We're zealous of good works. We are here doing the good works. Verse 15, these things speak and exhort and rebuke. And do what? Read it again. These things speak. These things we are to speak and exhort. We exhort and rebuke. And rebuke. Yes, That's why we come out to rebuke our people. That's why we come out here to rebuke the rebellious people that, that want to box against the prophets of God. That's why we read. Read, read again. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Christ gives us what? All authority. Christ gives us all the authority, brother, to do these things. All these good works. Come on. Let no man despise thee. Read it again. Let no man despise thee. We're not to let no man despise us for doing the good works that God told us to do. God told us to come out here on the highways and the hedges and to bring out the word of God. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. That's what we're supposed to do. We're the watchmen. We're doing it. That brother ain't doing it. Show me the words, brother. Show me how you rebuild your people. Right, right. Read. 
Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 26. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee. What did he do? They were disobedient. Our people are disobedient. Read. And rebelled and rebellious as hell. Come on. Against thee. And cast thy law behind their backs. It's not that they hate us. It's not that they hate us. They says they hate God. Read it again. And cast thy law behind their backs. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee. Read. And cast thy law behind their backs. And slew thy prophets. What would they, what would they will do one day? Slew their prophets, which testified against them, to turn them to thee, and they wrought great provocations. So they gon' they gon' look to slew to slay us, brother. They gon' slay us for teaching the word of God. Right. We come out here ready to die for the word of God, brother. This is what Christ compelled us to do. Some of the great men in the Bible did. We will be so lucky to to fall in line with the number of men that have done that. You understand? But we are here to show our people who we are. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. We must come back to the commandments of God and the faith in Christ. Read what you got. First Thessalonians 4 and verse 8. He therefore that despises, despises not men. He don't despise us. The brother pulled up in the Camry, plopped his little trunk, got a little speaker out there, and said his two words. Couldn't box, brother. Couldn't box. Read. He therefore that despises, despises not men, but God. He despises God. Our people hate God. Come on. He had also given us, us, his Holy Spirit. He's given us his Holy Spirit. How do you know? How do you know who's rolling with God and who's not? First John 4. First John chapter 4. Come back to that. I want to come back to that. Because this is how we move. This is how we got to understand. The prophets of God ain't here to play, brother. Well, this is hey, this is our profession. We come here to do this day in, day out. Sun up, sun down. You understand? Rain, sleet, snow to sun, tornadoes and all. We out here to do it. Read. First John chapter four and verse one. We're trying to show our people who we are according to the Bible. Come on. Beloved, believe it not every spirit. So whenever that brother come up trying to deceive, don't believe every spirit. Come on. But try the spirits where you be of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. It says many false prophets, many false deceivers, many false people want to pull up with a speaker, Mr. Apologetic. Many have gone out and did what? Many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know you the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. It says every spirit. We got to say Christ did come in the flesh. He was, he is a black man. Right. You understand? Woolly hair. Feet like bronze, like brass as if it was burning in a furnace. Right. There's people out there that's going to say, no, nah, Christ didn't do that. No, nah, Christ was a spirit. No, nah, he was a chameleon. He, he was all colors. Right. He was all of tone. Christ is a black man. Right. It's simple. So we come out here to show, this is how you discern between those telling the truth and those telling the lie. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is Jesus Nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.